Afrin here, and I'm back on Mission Bay. Today I'm on the Hobie Pro Angler 12 with a 360 drive. You guys know why I'm back on the kayak, but it's always fun to fish the kayak. A good way to get some exercise, get back down to nature, and hopefully catch these fish. Double rig. <laughs> yeah, cast out. Let it sink out for a bit. Bit it. The double rig hangs. You can see there how the second bait would hang down and potentially get another fish. The goal is to get two fish on one cast. We got one this time. Here it is. Double rig spotty. He ate the three quarter ounce with the 3.25 mono swim bait. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Very cool to start it off like that. Let's get him in. Right now I'm sitting in seven feet of water. It's all eelgrass here. I'm in the middle of the bay. It's an area that people don't normally get to fish during peak busyness of the days so many jet skiers and boats running around here so I try to get out here just a little bit early give myself a chance at this eelgrass hopefully hopefully get a few bites again we got that tide coming up so we're gonna have some good water movement hopefully that sparks these fish up in the eelgrass get them moving a bit make them want to bite these swim baits so even though I have two baits on the line I'm still gonna fish it like I normally would, slow to medium, through the eelgrass. I'm making sure both of those baits get in the eelgrass or just slightly above it. Both of the war baits that I'm using have the weed guard, so I'm able to fish through that eelgrass more effectively without getting the hook hung up in the grass. So that's one of the advantages of fishing a weed guard bait. <laughs> oh man, you guys see that? <laughs> Got bit, boy. <laughs> swing, I'm serious, if you get bit, swing. <laughs> small sand bass in the bay. Again, he ate that bottom one, so. We're working on something here. Working on a little pattern. Oh man. Another spotty. <laughs> Got him on the drop. I was letting it re-drop. This one ate the underspin. That's the bait that's loose on the line. Quarter ounce, underspin. All right, I'm feeling good about it. Catching a few fish, figuring out the program. Now let's look for some big ones. double rig looks like the tail got chomped on the one that hangs low and this buddy at the one higher up in the water column <laughs> 
really cool, really cool. They went to choke that thing down. Pretty awesome stuff. Shallow, seven feet of water. There we go. Still with that eel grass. This guy's fat, hard belly. He's probably feeding on some clams or something. All right, let's get him in. Yeah, really cool stuff. Get the quarter ounce flagship with the gold underspin. And someone took a chomp out of the other swim bait, the 3 8 ounce with the three and a half inch tail. So we're gonna replace this tail, get to more casting. getting from one spot to the next. <laughs> he hit it hard. And then he ran. Thought it was like a bonita or something. <laughs> Another small one. But it's okay. I'll take it. Another little guy. Cranking. Trolling the crank. Another little guy. Spotty. Small spotty. <laughs> That's cool with me. At least I'm getting something. There we go. Going on the wind and pause there. I'm on that double rig. One fish. The jet ski and water action is insane right now, so I don't know how much longer I'll be able to fish. That's it, I had to call it there. You gotta know when to throw in the towel. Too many rigs on the water to fish and have fun. So I'm back on land now. Let me show you the gear I was using to catch those fish. And the rod for the double rig is an Abu Garcia Villain. This is a 7.3 heavy, and I'm able to cast that double rig easily. And the reel I'm using is an Abu Garcia Inshore. It's pulled up with 40 pound Prospect braid and the leader line I'm using is 20 pound fluorocarbon. The two baits tied to the double rig are both war baits. The lighter head is a quarter ounce underspin in flagship color with a gold blade. And the bait tied up to the longer leader was a 3 8 ounce burnt swim bait head with weed guard. Both of these baits were fished with a slim body swim bait. And I tie up the double rig using two swivels 
one swivel is connected to the mainline braid connected to the longer leader with a 3 8 ounce and the second swivel moves through the mainline braid and is tied with the shorter leader to the quarter ounce. This is so that the baits are offset when swimming through the water column. And the crankbait I used is a Norman Medium Diver and that's custom painted by Fishhead15 on Instagram. I will leave the link in the description. I think he calls it Sartreuse Spotty. Thanks again for all the support. You guys are giving Warbaits and this channel. We're growing, it's because of you. I appreciate all those orders coming to warbaits.com. We are busy every day making those baits and shipping that product. Yeah, I apologize for the audio issues. I was fussing with some mics. Unfortunately, the audio ran through the GoPro, so it was a little bit scratchy. It's always a battle getting good audio. We're always trying to improve every time we make a video. So lesson learned, and we'll figure it out on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for the likes and subscribes. Hopefully something in this video inspired you to get out and go fishing, because fishing is fun. It's summertime, the water's warm, and the fish are starting to bite. So get out there and go fishing. Hook that giant.